Welcome back. If you're a newer viewer or fan of this program, you may not be aware that we also produce another show called Hungry Heroes that airs here on the One America News Network and our sister station, AWE. That show has nothing whatsoever to do with politics. It is a fun travel show that highlights heroes. You know, people that serve their fellow man. And also it highlights what they like to eat. Matter of fact, the catchphrase I have for my other show is what fuels these heroes' minds, bodies, and souls. My fiance Peyton and I started producing this show about a year ago, this month actually, and selling it to the owners here at OAN, the wonderful Herring family. Well, as we set out to begin our second season, we started making phone calls a couple weeks back around the country, fire departments, police stations, military installations, uh, nonprofit charity groups, and we started noticing something. The folks doing the job on the ground, and even their supervisors, were all gung-ho about being featured on the show. But then after they went to pitch it higher up through the chain of command for approval, we started getting denied access. The answer given by nearly every group that declined, no, we can't take part in your show, Dan, not because of the show or what it says or what the statement it makes, but the network it airs on, OAN. And when it came time to get permission to film on a base, the Department of Defense replied with a very firm, OAN is not a credible news organization, so your request is denied. When I asked the military liaison that I work with, who told me, you can't do it, Dan, what if I move to a different network? They said, oh yeah, most likely access will be granted if you move your show to a different network. I said, hmm, that's interesting, because last year I was allowed to film with Marines up at the 29 Palms Air and Ground Combat Center in Southern California. So I'm like, what changed from last August to this? Now I wanted to inform you, by the way, this whole show came about because of my late brother, Don Bull, who was a firefighter. We lost him to cancer back in August of 2008. He inspired me to create this show in his honor and in the honor of all of those who serve others. And I will be damned if Joe Biden and the Democrats are gonna stop me from continuing on with this program. So we're just gonna adjust. We are gonna to continue to profile and highlight heroes around this nation, but we need your help. So if you have an idea of a group, an organization, a unit, a department you think I should profile, send us a message and we'll try and get them on that program. And speaking of these amazing heroes that we profile on Hungry Heroes, we are gearing up to head to the East Coast very soon to film a brand new episode. And we're gonna film it with, I just gotta say this, one of the most amazing souls I have ever had the pleasure of meeting in my entire life. And he's our next guest. He established the Travis Mills Foundation, which supports recalibrated, as he calls them, veterans and their families through various programs that help these heroic men and women overcome their physical and emotional obstacles by strengthening the family. They also get some well-deserved rest and relaxation at his beautiful retreat in Maine. Here's some video from it. This foundation supports veterans through its nationally recognized retreat. Gorgeous place, and that's where we're gonna be headed very, very soon. I wanna welcome back to the program, Travis Mills of the 82nd Airborne, a recalibrated veteran. Oh, by the way, he's also a motivational speaker. Now I hear he's getting into acting. He's an author. He's got merch. This guy is doing it all. Wow. And oh, by the way, Travis, I think you're only one of the only living quadruple amputees out there, and you're doing more work than most of us Americans could even fathom. How have you been, brother? Well, I'm still handicapped. I woke up that way again. I couldn't believe it. But uh, thanks for having me. And uh, you, you know, know your jokes, man. I am too, but we're excited. We're thankful to be, you know, having the year that we're having with the Travis Mills Foundation. Uh, I'm sorry I'm coming to you guys from my man cave in the basement. You know, the whole <laughs> office I wasn't there today, so we're in my basement. But welcome. And uh, the I'm man cave looks good. Trip. Looks good, brother. Well, yeah, but I'm looking forward to your trip out here to uh, the great state of Maine to see what we have going on, meet some of these wonderful families, and hear their stories and share their stories and. Um, you know, we're just really excited to have you, and, and uh, I love, you know, what you're doing, helping tell these hero stories. And Thank you, man. Um, I also like eating, which is why I'm overweight. But I'm working on that because every night, Dan, I lose 30 pounds every night because my arms and legs come off. Folks, I never know how much I'm supposed to laugh at these jokes he makes, but I guess if he's making them 
inward. I'm allowed to laugh? I don't know. You always put me in this weird situation, Travis, and I don't like it. Um, no, yep. your jokes are great. So tell me what I'm in store for because I'm, I watched some of the well, video there. What, what are you going to put me through? Because the whole basis, if folks don't know the show, is, yes, it's based around food, and then you put the host, this guy, through, again, whether it's cops, firefighters, military, nonprofits, you put the host through some training, some ordeals, something to make me get a sense of what you guys are going through there. So what, what am I looking forward to here? Well, it's not going to be as intense as some of your other shows, I'll be honest. Well, but that's okay. We do- the ability to show people that are like me that have been injured, um, paralyzation, amputation, spinal cord injury, something to do with physical injury. Uh, we show them and their families that they can do things adaptively. So we might go boating or fishing. We might go ahead and do the ropes course, which I think we are going to actually probably do with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dan Mico, um, donated that to us um, for the foundation. And we're just going to get to talk to these families and figure out what this place means to them because a lot of people like me, don't have the luxury to try and do adaptive sports and things with my family if it's not set up right. So now we built this place and uh, we have a lot of great supporters. Dave Mortage, massive, massive supporter of both of us, yes. you and me. And um, he's doing this $500,000 match again this year. Amazing guy, Mr. Cleveland. But we show them that that life goes on, you know, so we're going to have a good time. Uh, when you come to visit, we're going to eat some delicious food, meet some of the families, and uh, we also, this is very important for the people watching, you might not know but know somebody like me, right, that was injured in Afghanistan, no arms, no legs, whatever, with a physical injury. But if you have a first responder or a combat veteran in your family, we have a post-traumatic stress program that's free of charge. It's called Warrior Path Program, and everybody can find out um, awesome. more information at travismillsfoundation.org. Travis, you're, see, this is why I said, folks, at the beginning, this guy is an amazing soul. I haven't met anyone ever in my almost 48 years on this rock, like you, Travis, the positivity, your mindset, your goals and reaching them, you're so dang determined and all the adversity you face in your life. Seriously, there's people out there, we got all our limbs that are some negative Nellies every day and don't have 5% of the energy you have and the motivation. So God bless you. Uh, Again, I got to remind folks, if you want to help out Travis, and his foundation, our buddy, as he just said, Dave Mortash, is doing his annual. And Dave's been doing this now for what? Three, four years. He puts up, yep. I mean, he puts his money where his mouth is. 500 grand, and he wants the American public to match. So if you only send a dollar, five, or 50, or 50 grand, whatever, send it in. We've got the info right there. It's travismillsfoundation.org forward slash Dave, and let's match it. And then come Veterans Day this year, you, me, my buddy John Rich, and Dave, we have a big party in Cleveland, and we raise even more money on top of it. So I'm looking forward to seeing you this month for Hungry Heroes, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with you come November 11th as well. Travis, God bless you, brother. I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of your day, and take care, guys. Watch out for this. (laughs) Just kidding. It don't hurt. You guys are winners. (laughs) Travis Mills, folks, thank you for coming back on the program, Trav. Keep those jokes fresh, will you?